Okay, so in drawing a square headed boat, we are given our parameters above. Our diameter is 16 millimeter. Our width is 1.5 d plus 3, which gave us 27 millimeter. Our thickness is 0.7 d, which is 11.20. Our length, we set to use 100 millimeter. Our thread length is 3d, which is 48 millimeter. And our radius of the chamfer, which is 2d, is given us 32 millimeter. So with this parameter, we will draw a square headed boat. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we'll draw a line, a straight line. We need to construct a square. Since it's a square headed boat, so draw a straight line first. And you can see the width is given as 27 millimeter. So your straight line measure at 27 millimeter starting from here. So this is this is 25, 26, 27. So it's over here. Just taking that part, okay? Taking that part. So you construct a square. I believe you should know how to construct a square by now. But if you don't know how to construct a square, I have other videos. They are in the description part of this video. You can go and learn from it. Okay, so I'm constructing a square with the same parameter 27 millimeter. Okay, so we have constructed the square of 27 millimeter. Next up, we are dividing the square into two. Okay. Divide the length and the other side into two equal parts. So, 27 divided by 2 should give us 13.5. Okay, so 27 divided by 2 is 13.5. We measure 13. This is 13.5. And come here to measure 13.5. Same thing here 13.5 and 13.5. Okay, so we use our center line. So okay, that is the center point. Okay. Now I've done that. Okay, so with our compass, you pivot here, okay, at the midpoint, and then you draw a circle. Now I join the circle with broken lines, okay? Just draw a circle. Okay. Okay. So I've done the circle. Now, next up, we're also using the diameter of this. The diameter they were given, that is 16 mm. I'm also going to um, draw a circle inside too. So I measure 16. If diameter is 16, that, was the, that means the radius will be 0 0.8 or 8. So 0 0.8 cm or 8 mm is the same thing. So I'm marking out 0 0.8 and then we'll draw a circle too in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to circle. Now I'm going to do some elongation. Now I'm going to use a pencil that's lightly elongation. But if you don't have to pencil, fine, just use a pencil. I'm going to make it very light. Okay, so I'll do some elongation. So I'm using this line. I'm just going to using this line. Okay, now I'm doing elongation. So I also advise you to, to elongate this line. Okay, let's elongate it out. Um, Set square so that's a bit more accurate. Current elongation and then elongate to the end. Okay, so I'm doing my elongations. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mark at a point, just draw a straight line from any way of a choice from this part. Now watch what I'll do. I decide to make it here, make it here, make it here. Anyway, we will just draw a line, each line, okay? There's no specific measurement. Okay, so I've done this line. Now, we're given from our um, parameter that the thickness is 11.2 millimeter. All dimensions here are millimeter, 11.2 millimeter. So I'm measuring 11.2, which is. Okay, so 11.2, which is, this is 11.2, 11.2 should be somewhere here, 11.2, that's our thickness, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 11.2, 
it's 11.2 now I join it okay now having done this next thing we're going to do from our parameter we're given that the radius of the chamfer is 32 millimeter so with our compass to measure out 32 millimeter to this is 32 okay now watch watch what i'll do you place it here let me check it pivot here okay can you see it and then you draw an arc try to make this arc as thick as possible very thick as possible okay now draw this arc with that radius okay then next up we're going to draw the bolt that is like say the stem of the bolt now we're given that the diameter is 16 and the length of the bolt is 100 so we are drawing the length of this bolt to be 100 now this is the diameter elongated line so we don't need to measure out 16 again so with this line that we elongated So this is 100 and we're taking the line 2 so we're doing 10 here too okay and then we'll join the point okay so I've done this. Now this is what we'll do. We'll measure the diameter, which is 16. So I've got my right. I just measure it here. And then we come here. Now watch. Watch this very carefully. You see it? You just measure. Okay. So this is the point of P booked. And that from this point, we draw an arc. Okay, we are doing arc. Yeah, we are almost done with this um, square headed bolt. Up to the next step. Now, if you check um, on what is displayed on the screen, you will see a table there. And if you look at the where you have major bolts, uh, major diameter for bolts, where you have 16, if you check, there's a pitch there. The pitch there is 2. Okay, we want to draw our threaded portion. Of these bolts so since the pitch is 2 so multiply 2 by 0 0.5 is a constant okay which will give you 1 this is 1 millimeter which is 0 0.1 cm okay now before we will do this now we're given that the length of the threaded portion is 48 millimeter okay 48 millimeter so we measure 48 This 48 48 or 48 down okay then we'll join now we measure our 0 0.1 cm this is 0 0.1 this is 0 0.1 we should do the same thing too down here 0 0.1 0 0.1 and then we'll join okay now this is it we are done with our diagram today but for the threaded portion if you want to really learn how to draw the threaded portion you can check on the description part to get the link of how to draw a thread we'll not be doing that on today's video because i've already done that all right that's it and that's all for the diagram or the video today thank you guys and see you next episode